This poem is Rocky Road to Ho by Suzette Hayden Elgin, read by Rich Maghiz. The women the stones spoke to ignored them, knowing better, fearing the Thorazines. Only after the rose quartz chunk said to her, your little girl has fallen into the pool, and it was so, did she accept the burdensome embedded knowledge? Pointedly, gratingly, she kept it to herself. The stones had a dignity to their converse, appropriate to their formation. The many layered levels of meaning brought upward, one at a time, breaking through detritus, not to be easily ever set aside. She had the gravel in the driveway taken up and paved it over, grateful for concrete silence. She removed the lovely slate from the side terrace and laid down redwood over her husband's objections. When driving through New Mexico and Arizona, she stayed inside the car at all times. The day her daughters brought her a necklace of agates, she carried it out to the garden and hung it high in a tree. When that was not enough to hush its tinted voices, she had her husband shut it away at the bank in their safe deposit box, saying, I can't keep something so precious just lying about. But stones are everywhere. Everyone else being stone deaf collects them, speaking to her from the fingers of friends and strangers alike. They told her how it felt to be mined. When the woman the stone spoke to died, she left an enigma. Do not, she said in her will, under any circumstances whatsoever, bury me beneath a stone. No Contact by Suzette Hayden Elgin Read by Diane Severson Mori. When we saw the ship flying over Tulsa, we knew what it was, because our ships can't wink in and out of sight, can't hover in place, can't spin round like that. What happened next was not what we expected. All the sciences and all the scientists started up a war over which science was entitled to go greet the aliens. A day and a night went by without greeting while the PhDs argued the issue and could not resolve it. What happened next came as a great surprise. The ETs closed their doors and took off again, took off from Tulsa. And then they were just gone in a blink of time. As for the Universal Translator, by Suzette Hayden Elgin, read by Jean-Paul Garnier. How do you assemble a rose window in a universe which has no curving surfaces? Oh, poor sharp rose that is all thorns, nested within thorns, what can you be a symbol of? Students, this is a visiting professor she is trying to translate. True, she is unseemly in that she is not properly angular. There is no word, exactly, for what her thighs do. That, however, is a fault of her administration. So to speak must be embarrassingly relativistic. Stop taking notes. Would you stare? at some poor cripple who has no antler? How do you assemble a rose window in a universe which has no principle of symmetry? Oh, poor lopsided ugly rose that is all deficits, nested within deficits, what can you be a hunger for? <laughs> 